Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today I wanted to talk about an item that I purchased while I was in London, uh, September of 2022. So it's been six months since I had this and I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, my experience with this item, pros and cons. Uh, I purchased this in the London Heathrow Airport. Don't ask me why I did that because in the same trip I went to Paris and did a little shopping trip in the Paris store. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of getting the belt at that time and yes this is a belt so let me open this up and show you the exact belt that I got. Of course every Hermes item comes with this beautiful orange box white tissue paper and I love how they have a, a dust bag for literally everything. So revealing to you this is my Kelly belt in the uh, gold co color with the white stitching and I love the details that they have when they package things because you have these two adorable little uh, drawstring pouches to protect the hardware. So it is protected like so. I always put it back in its original box along with the the little dust bags. Uh, I just realized that I never even pulled the sticker off. So let me do that while we talk through this. Um, this is, I believe in the rose gold color hardware. I actually forgot and I believe it is. Um, so I purchased this, like I said, in the London Heathrow Airport, uh, September of last year. And at that time when I was there, the US dollar to pound was uh, in, very much in our favor. If you were um, paying, you know, if you were visiting from uh, the States and you will also see that at that time, the Euro against the US dollar was also very favorable. So I really should have purchased this in the Paris store. Uh, it probably would have increased my chances in getting a different bag. Uh, have a look at that video if you haven't watched it before. I ended up getting a special uh, Picotin 18 at that time. It's in a special print, so have a look at that video if you haven't seen it already. Now, this item, um, as I said, I purchased in London. I, I forgot the exact price, but it was kind of favorable in terms of the pricing compared to the US dollar. And at that time, they only had this color. I wanted the black, but they only had the gold, which I figured was neutral enough for, for me to use as a daily kind of belt. Um, and I have the, the matching bracelet, which I purposely did just to you know match it up in this video. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with this belt. There have been many people on YouTube that have raved about this, which is kind of what triggered me to buy this. So um, pro number one, this is a very um, universal belt in terms of the sizing. So if I close the belt like so, um, actually let me undo it first properly. You can see that there are no holes on the belt. It is fully adjustable to the the exact um you know the exact size of your waist so you can see there are adjustable straps down here where you just pull to make it smaller and of course if you need it to be bigger you just uh, pull the opposite way so let me just make it a little bit smaller so you can easily see it on camera so that's pro number one so you know, sometimes our weight fluctuates. You may need this as a belt for your jeans, which will sit lower on your waist, or you might, you might want to put this on uh, like on top of a dress or higher up, and that can easily be adjusted and it, it would be a very perfect seamless look. Pro number two is this belt can easily be dressed up or down. If this was in black, I would say it would be easier to do that, but I think uh, a neutral color like this gold color can do the same. So that's also pro number two. It is a very timeless design. Um, if you know Hermes, you know, and this design is just the classic Kelly buckle. And it is also very easy to take on and off. 
So that's also pro number four. So all you need to do is just turn the this little knob and, and take it off like that. You do have to line it up a little bit when you're putting it on. Like you can't just hook it on like this. You have to line up uh, this little rectangle against this opening here. But once you do that, it's in and you, you just lock it like so. So it's a very classic design. Um, nothing flashy in terms of the logo, like the big H, um, the Constance belt, that is a little bit too loud for me. The other thing that I, I found as a, a, another pro is, as I said, there are no holes on the belt. So you'll never have a situation where if you have like a regular belt, like here I have a belt um, from many years ago. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch. And I've used this so for so many years. Actually, their belts are very good and very well made. And you can see here, the holes here stretch out. Um, so you see, I've always used it like right in the middle setting. So you see how the leather is stretched out, the hole is stretched out, the leather is a little bit more worn here. And typically this is where you would, uh, when you wear it uh, more often and, and enough, this is where the leather can eventually come apart and you won't be able to use this setting anymore or if it breaks off altogether, which has happened to me in other with my other belts, you can't really use this belt anymore. So this is pretty much like a forever piece. And in, in, in that sense, I would say you really only need one belt like this. Um, you should get it in a color that will work for you. And in this case, I was happy with um, this gold color. Uh, the, the, uh, the black was my top preference, but they didn't have it. So I, I just went for this. I am tempted to get the Kelly pocket belt because I think that the, the little pouch that comes with the belt that loops into this is really cute and I think would be very handy when you're traveling because you can put really, um, you know, uh, you can protect your belongings in terms of like some cash and cards and it, it would just sit literally on your body. So I thought that that was really clever and you can always take it off and use the belt like this. The other color I would go for is like the gray color and that would be a very nice neutral as well. So I am very happy with this. I would say the only con is actually the price. <laughs> the price is uh, quite high depending on if you get the Kelly belt versus the regular um, sorry, the Kelly pocket belt versus the regular Kelly belt, it's close to, I would say about a thousand US dollars. It depends on, you know, what type of leather you get and, and the finish. Um, the finish should be the same actually, but I'll link what I can find down below. And I actually see that these belts are quite high in the, uh, priced high in the pre-loved market. Um, but I've, I found that if I were to, let's say, you know, consign this at Fashion File, I doubt that I would get the selling price for it because they have to earn money th themselves. But this is a really great investment if you want something as like a very universal belt. I, I would say, I would even dare say this can replace all my other belts. Now I won't go and throw out belts like this because it's a great option just to, you know, keep on my jeans. And this is where I usually use my belt is on my jeans. But this is like a, a dressier version that you can really use on any kind of outfit, um, you know, skirt, dress, pants, jeans, they, they can work and it's a great option to have. So if you're into Hermes, I would recommend this belt 100% over any of any of the other belts that they have. I like the Kelly buckle, but I think they have other designs that um, have the adjustable uh, option. I, I think the, the other one is the Collier de Chen uh, look, where uh, instead of the Kelly buckle, it's, um, I'll link it down below, but it's, it's where you have the ring that can flop up and down. I tried that one on as well. I didn't like it only because that little ring, when you're moving, it makes some noise and you're hearing that little, like um, the, 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 the clinging sound, which kind of bothered me after a while. It, it is a nice option as well. And it's actually flatter in terms of the profile because you see how this sticks out. The other one won't. And it's, and I think you 
I'll put it on the same way where you have to kind of turn it as well. But I opted to go for this only because it is a cleaner look. It didn't make that noise. So the noise kind of bothered me. So something to keep in mind if you were considering that one as well. So try to hunt it down and, you know, try it on for your, for, for, for size. Well, not really for size, but try it on to see if you like the look and if the color suits you. I think this is a really great investment. Now, if you have any questions about this item, please, please leave a comment down below. I would love to have a conversation with you there. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any suggestions on other things you'd like me to feature, um, feel free to leave me a comment there and I'd be happy to do a video on it. Stay happy and healthy and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.